Hello, hello, and welcome to my channel. This is Elise here of Plan with Elise, and today we are creating two custom Patreon spreads for my members. So the first spread we are doing is Erica's spread, and Erica requested an October monthly. Now, I don't have Erica's like important dates for the monthly, so we're just gonna kind of set this up and show how you can set up your monthly without necessarily knowing like what's coming up because that's sort of the way that I'm going about this. So I have Live Love Posh Autumn Allure here and I was looking through some Halloween sticker books and I decided that I wanted to do something a little bit less Halloween themed and more just like an October focus which is where we're coming in with these pumpkins and fun little fall elements. Um, but it's less like obviously Halloween, if that makes sense. I think it makes sense. So <laughs> let's see. I feel like I like this sticker here. I don't want to... The, the challenging thing about not necessarily knowing the dates is that I don't want to cover up anything that might be important. So I know that I've kind of limited these boxes, but... I think that there are a lot of people who use a monthly in like a very, very decorative way because maybe they use their weekly or something else for um, more functionality. And so we're just going to kind of go about it like in that mindset and just sort of play around here. Now, I know that we're covering up a little bit of October here, but I feel like you don't really need to see the October on the back of this. Like, it's nice that it's printed on both sides, but I think I need to use smaller scissors here for more precision. Okay, that's okay for now. All right, now I like this sticker, this corn maze, pumpkins, hay rides. Today is also, because I feel like this is gonna be relevant, when I'm filming this, it's October 5th, so of course Erica's going to get this late. If I mail it out Monday, she'll probably get it by like Friday. So the top part, I could actually add more decor in because while she can back plan, there's not going to be as much of a need to write in the important things because they've already happened. So I'm okay kind of adding in a little bit more decor as we kind of get to the top part. So I'm even thinking like maybe something like this could go here. And then what if we take maybe a fall quote? Um, choosing quote. I like welcome autumn. And we can put that over that. I think that that's really cute. Now, I wanted to bring washi into this, so I grabbed this darker orange grid washi. This is from Planny Thing, because I thought that this was really pretty. And we're going to cover up the days of the week here. We'll put new stickers down, but adding washi at the top is always a good way to add a little bit more decor. I typically, I mean, this year I've been doing all planner cake kits. So I have made a couple of custom um, monthly spreads using regular stickers, but most of my monthly spreads that I do have been with planner cake. So I'm like, oh, I gotta, you know, get back into that like mindset of how to decorate when I'm not using a kit that's necessarily like just made for it. Um, okay, for the days of the week. So we have these from Mojo Dojo Plans, these like brownish stickers that I thought would be pretty over the orange. So let's grab these. Monday, Monday, Tuesday. And that's why I didn't cover up the days of the week either, like using correction tape, because I knew that I wanted to do some sort of layering over here. I think that even if you just add washi and a couple of decorative stickers, you could get a really cute monthly going on Saturday. Okay, 
now the sticker book is falling apart a little bit so it's kind of hard to like navigate but I wanted to see if I could find little stickers to add the dates in because again I feel like that's a good way to add some decor so my thought was like those they're a little bit big but I think that they work really nicely with this color scheme I really need to use tweezers I can't do this without tweezers so I know I still have to put number one down, but I was starting with two because that's what was visible. So <laughs> we'll go ahead and get these down and then come back. I feel like that added such an element of fun here. Like not fun, I mean, it's not that fun of a color, but it just added a lot more decor and it makes it look a lot more finished than just kind of leaving it as default. So. I waited on the 31st. I am putting a box for the 31st just because of Halloween um, and Erica is a mom and so in case she wants to you know jot anything down for that day. I also like the trick-or-treat here so I feel like we can put this right over here but let's cover up the um, holidays. I don't actually remember seeing these holidays in any of my other monthlies that I've done. I must have used like either outdated or 18 month planners. Like I appreciate that Statue of Liberty birthday and National Cat Day are in here, but uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know that that was something that I needed to be in my planner and I have no problem covering it up. Unless I just do like trick or treat right here and we cover up Halloween because like we know when Halloween is. But now that I've done that, I feel like I need to do something over here so um maybe we look for something kind of decorative to put down there so let's see we've got corn maze is cute let's do that i have a friend from childhood whose birthday is in september and one year we did a, a maze maze we went to a cool corn maze place and that was really fun and memorable because i don't think any of us had ever done it. Honestly, I haven't done it since. So that was a really fun, fun way to spend her birthday. And then I think that we can like come back in and add, let's cut part of this off. We can come back in and add a few other stickers over here. Just some little fun elements. Again, decorating more towards the days that have already passed. And let's do pumpkins. I'll cover up Rosh Hashanah since Erica doesn't celebrate it. Go that way. I feel like it got crooked. Pull that up. I'll cover up Rosh Hashanah so I'm not like trying to cover it up with the sticker. I think that's why it was crooked before. And then let's try that again. Okay. Still like a little slanted, but I feel like the sticker might just be slanted because corn maze looks a little slanted as well. Now, I want to make, do something functional with this as well. So what I'm going to do is take this gold sticker and we're going to do some bullet points for goals here on the sidebar. One, two, three, and let's do four. Then I think we're gonna do important as well. So goals and then important would be like priorities if I were writing these down for myself. Important. That one. Two. Three. 
three and four. Okay, I think we might be finished. I'm gonna take one more look back and see if there's any other stickers that maybe we can include. We've got a cute little like pumpkin spice latte sticker. We can do that like right here. And then we have a couple more of these pumpkins that are already like half cut for an edge. So we can put one maybe over here. Cause again, there'll still be enough room to write if we do that. And we can put one here. So just a little bit more decor while still leaving most of this, especially the area where Erica will actually receive the spread like this place um, ready for her to use. So I think that we are finished with Erica's spread. I really like it. I feel like it's simple, but it's also decorative and pretty and um, perfect for the season. Okay, the next spread we are making is for Courtney, and Courtney has requested a monthly currently and favorites page. So I'm, I grabbed August because I just don't have like an endless supply of October <laughs> ones, but I think it's okay to be able to cover this up. And Courtney wanted like a cute, more traditional Halloween theme. So I pulled out Happy Halloween by Hell of a Plan, and... I thought that doo -doo -doo -doo, these stickers, which I have used before, are like the cutest of the kind of traditional. And I have used some of the stickers, but you can, I mean, I feel like there's definitely ways to be able to use um, this in more than one spread. Like I've used one, two, three, four, five. That's not nearly enough to be like, oh, I've already used those. I can't use them again. Like it's fine. So, I definitely want to do October with these letters. I just don't know yet if I want to do orange or black. I kind of feel like those letters are a little bit creepier than these stickers, right? Like a little bit. So maybe we'll do different letters. I'm not sure yet. I do know that I want to put this important or this double box right here, which almost fills this section. We just have a little bit of extra space. I'm probably going to bring some washi in here. So what I might do is actually, if I can, lift this up a little bit in case I put washi in. This way the sticker was only down for like, I don't know, seconds. Okay, now for the month. I have Dated Basics Volume 4 here by Kelly the Plan. And October would work well there, but I also am concerned that it's not wide enough for that section unless we jump back and bring in washi. So like October could be cute there and I feel like the letters are nice for this but we need to find the right kind of washi here that's going to work. So I need this like very light pink or actually this orange might be really nice. This is unopened. I have like a lot of shades of orange washi. I also have this pink still on my desk. Mm, I don't know, let's look back at the colors again. I don't know that I want to use the pink. I feel like I've been using pink a lot lately. I feel like the orange is a little bit more like Halloween friendly, October friendly. You know what I mean? So let's open up this part. We're going to I have not been great lately about putting my washi back. I feel like this is now too yellow. When it's on the roll versus off, like it's getting the double color. Oops, so I think it's too yellow. Let's see. We've got this one, which is kind of cool. Let's test it out. 
For Planny Thing washi, you can always save using code Elise10. It's my favorite washi. There are so many colors and I just think it's a really good quality washi. I like this because it has like that lighter yellow, but I feel like the grid part of it is the right orange. So I think we're gonna go through with that. The only thing I'm thinking is that this is not going to perfectly cover up the correction tape. Oh, it's so close though. And I'm wondering, do I go for like a thicker roll, like something like this? going to spend half the video selecting washi. This is kind of a cool color. It's definitely not like the exact color for anything we're doing here, but I think it might be fun to bring in something a little bit different. I don't often bring in thick washi, so let's see how it goes. Okay, that said, I likely won't be putting washi down here. So let's get back to the original plan, which was getting October in. And what I could also do is bring in some decorative stickers with that as well. So we have some bats. I feel like we can put the bats right there and just kind of make a fun little element. Okay. I know I say okay a lot. Sorry. It's like my, my transition word for the next step. We're going to grab two heading boxes and we'll put one. Mm, I don't know how I want to do this. First, let's cover up priorities. And let's do... I think I like this color better here. Bats are getting covered up a little bit. This one, we'll kind of put it the same placement, like height-wise that I put that, but I think if I take some of these stars, it'll help fill in that like blank space that's right there. And maybe even one more little bat. Okay, that is cute. Now, oops, the one sticker book that silly me, I did not pull out was the currently sticker book, which I want to pull out. I grabbed Mojo Jojo's Rainbow Currently because I feel like I typically use like dark currently words and I thought that this would be fun because they have a little bit more personality to them. I like this one and I think I want to bring it with the washi that I used on the top. It's a little bit close in color, like the words that I'm, the, this font and this, but I think it should work. I think what I actually want to do here is rip the washi. I haven't done ripped washi in a minute. I think because I've been using thin washi so much lately that I don't usually rip it because it's already thin, but I feel like the rip might be a cool effect here. We just have to make sure that we're ripping it. Oops. That we're ripping the right length. So I wanna do more than I think I need. We'll do this here and then center this over it like that. I love these little candy corn pieces. So I thought that these would be fun, oops, to maybe put like, hmm. If I put them over, you can't really see the color as well. So let's take two of them and we'll put it here. One of the things that I'm being mindful of since we're doing two pages is like there's more bats here, but I wanna save bats for the other side. We have candy corn, but I also wanna save candy corn for the other side. Now, the next decision I have to make is about boxes. These are pretty much for a monthly, <clears throat> but I don't care because I could use them. However, I wanna make sure that the boxes I'm using on both sides of the page match. So that's where I think I need to switch into 
Mojo Jojo Plans pastel boxes. I have the box set because then I know I should have enough boxes for everything that I want to do here. I just have to choose the sizes we want to use. Maybe we'll grab one of these, one of these, one of these. <laughs> Maybe we'll just grab every single size that I have. And then we're going to choose our currently words. So I do have the currently sticker book whoa, by Mojo Dojo Plans. I also love the proud sticker designs currently. So I think we're going to do these. One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't know if I'm going to use all these, but I'm pulling out the ones that... <clears throat> I'm most interested in for Courtney. Um, let's see the plan. I like reflections. Okay, there's a lot here that I like, so <laughs> we're gonna try to make room for all of them. One of the things that I do think I want is the series with the double box. I do want to pull out one more double box. And I think we're going to do purple. Mm. Let's do orange. We're going to do this light orange here. Something on the page. And we're going to put this one right here. Yeah, I wanted to put it here because we had the other double box on the top left. And what I wanted to do was grab the word reflections because I felt like this is a good one. What, for me, with my currently page, I tend to fill it out throughout the month. Um, there may be times that I add to it at the start of the month of like my priorities and things like that. But other than that, I try to really have it be something that like once a week or so I pull out and look at and and see what I want to add to. So let me look back at the colors here. I'm not going to be able to find this color so I may actually bring one of these in. We also have this one which is cute but it's decorative. So what if we put this right here? And then we put this here, so it's like a perfect layer on that. I'm going to put something decorative here. <clears throat> and we'll cover up this so that you don't see the orange underneath. Put a little bit over here. OK, cute. Um, this one, I'm. Um, I don't know that I'm going to save it for the other side because of how I'm thinking that'll go. So I think I want to put this right here. Yeah, I feel like that's good. And then let's take maybe one of these in orange. and put it here. I'm not gonna layer this one, we're just gonna put it down. Okay, I like that. Now we're gonna do priorities up top here. Um, top moments here, even though it's wider than that. <laughs> then we're gonna do feeling. Working on. watching and grateful for right there. Now we're going to fill in these gaps with some fun decorative stuff. So if we take this pumpkin, 
could sit right there. It could also go here. I think we're going to sit the pumpkin or the, it's kind of like a jack-o'-lantern. It's also like a candy holding thing. <laughs> we'll put that there. Um, let's do a spider web. I also want to bring in this ghost somewhere. We have two of them. You know what? Let's move this. Don't rip, don't rip, don't rip. A little bit, it's okay. All right, this guy is gonna go right here. Then we'll take the ghost and this one's gonna hang out right there. There we go. I really wanted to bring that ghost in. And then we have a tiny bit of space over here where I was thinking spider web because I do have two of them. Let's take the smaller one. and put this right here. And I think that this half of the page is finished and we are ready to move on to the other side. So as I said, this side is currently and this side is going to be favorites. So what I'm going to do, you probably already know, because I've done a few of these, is take out my Alpha Basics stickers. And where is... Dated Basics Volume 4, because I used that and I actually want to use it again. Here we go. Um, actually, I don't know that I need to write October again or sticker October again. I think I may just want to write or sticker monthly favorites. So let's get a clean edge on my washi. And Get this to be about the right height as the other one. Then we're going to do M-O-N-M-O-N-T-H-L-Y. We have seven letters in monthly, so M-O-N-T. We need T to be in the middle. Let's say this is about the middle. H. L and Y. And then and we need N, we're going backwards. M O N. There we go. Cute. Whoa. Why she just flew across my desk. Okay. Monthly. And then we're going to pop in favorites. So I'm not set on using orange. I might use orange. This orange is really bright. That's why I was saying I'm not set on it because compared to the orange I used on this side, I think it might be too dark. Hmm. I think I may bring out Alpha Basics Volume 1, which is unfortunately no longer in stock, but we may just go for black letters here. Yeah, I think we're going to. So we want to spell out, oh, I just ripped that one, favorites. I probably need my ruler for this to make sure that they're fitting properly. So we're gonna move this over so they don't accidentally stick. And put F, A, just kind of put these together to make one word, like one big sticker, of course it's a word, F, A, V, O. R. This doesn't connect perfectly. It's okay. I. T. 
Come on. And us. All right, there we go. Now I can figure out where I want this to go <clears throat> and kind of center it accordingly. And then just bend down the ruler and we have our monthly favorites. All right, I can put this sticker book away. I have so many sticker books out on my desk. I feel like that always happens when I'm doing custom spreads. I'm pulling out so many stickers. Now I want to add fun in here, right? So I want to make sure that I have more of these ghosts. So I think they're so cute. So I got one right there. It's like a happy, happy, cute little floral ghost. And then I don't want to do the bats over here because I had them up there. Unless doing that would make it like a little bit more cohesive between both sides of the spread. So maybe we do that. Maybe we do exactly what I just said I don't want to do. <laughs> Once I saw them next to each other, though, I felt like, yeah, I feel like this helps make it look a little bit more like a two page, especially considering that this is dot and this is lined. Now we need to choose our colors. So I want trying to find the box, the series I need. Okay, I want number four and we're going to do orange, pink, and purple. Sorry if you hear some noise right now, they're picking up the trash. This is actually a trash day I'm really excited about because I have three, it's the bulk trash day and I have three things that are outside for them to pick up that are no longer going to be in my house and I'm so happy. Two of them are doors that I recently replaced or that James recently replaced. I'm not gonna pretend that I did it. And one of them is a mattress um, topper. It's like a six inch memory foam mattress topper. It's a little excessive, but I took it off my bed over the summer and it's been like rolled up in one of my extra showers for months because it's too heavy for me to bring downstairs. And I just really haven't been home that much to, um, <laughs> to put it out for bulk pickup. So that's three big things that are no longer going to be in my home and I'm really excited about it. All right, let's get more of these out. I'll kind of switch up the order. Do pink here, purple here. And then maybe we have room for one more layer. Let's go back to the original order. Purple. I'm getting better at lining these up without needing a ruler to like keep me situated. And pink. Okay, now we need volume one or series one for our heading boxes. So I need three orange. And we'll do, let's say orange on the purples. Do pinks on the orange. Nope, I need, yeah, pinks on the orange should work, right? And then, no, we need pinks on the orange and then purple on the pink. Okay, took me a sec there. I know you can see a little bit through that, but we're going to write over it, so it's not going to be a factor. and then purple on the pink. 
And the monthly favorites page, if you haven't seen one of these, um, is a page where I've been doing in my planner each month for the last few months, and it's not something I've always done. But I like to list out, you know, what was my favorite book of the month? What was my favorite meal? What was my favorite memory? A little bit different from currently. You could probably do one or the other. I don't know that you need both, but I've been doing both and I like, I like doing both. All right, so let's find a pen. Seemingly difficult to find a pen under this massive stack of sticker books, but here we go. I found one. Okay, so we're going to write achievement. Book. I'm going to write weekend. I know that Courtney cherishes her weekends. So maybe listing out what her favorite weekend is. I'm, I'm selecting these for her. She gave me free range to do these. Um, project, because I know that Courtney has been working on a lot of home projects. Hmm. I need other ideas. I need to pull out my page so that I can see what I did. Um, I did achievement. I did book. I did day. I think we're going to do planner. Like what's your current favorite planner? Let's do a meal. It was the best meal of the month. We can do TV show. And then need two more. So I have to think, I almost feel like I need to look back in September and be like, what's the other things I added? Um, I did book, I did meal, I did planner, achievement, <laughs> adventure, I could do that. Um, I don't know. Now I, I like put myself with nine of these and I'm trying to think of like a basic one would be drink. Courtney's more of like a tea person. Mm. What are the things that we list down that are favorite? Let's do pen as I'm using my pen here and my favorite pen lately has been the Zebra Sarasa R. I feel like it might be changing though. So um, we're going to do that. And we did project, achievement book, weekend, project, planner, meal, TV show, pen, and I'm going to write conversation. Courtney is someone who is amazing to converse with <laughs> and really is takes, I mean, I think we all do, but takes her relationships with her, at her work and with her husband and with her son and with her friends really seriously and intentionally. And every conversation I've had with Courtney, both on Zoom and in person, because I met her at Go Wild, have been um, really meaningful. And so I want her to reflect on what conversation she either got something out of or felt really good about as her favorite conversation of the month. It's like a little bit of a different one. Now let's go back to the Happy Halloween sticker book and fill in some of those other fun little spaces. So we have the candy corn that I wanted to include. I don't have a ton of room here for decoration, so we're just gonna add a little bit. I don't wanna overdo it because I think that this page is pretty nice on its own. But we can do like maybe I try to cut this to be about a half a spider web and then I can do the other half somewhere else. Like there. Mm. 
it's like a little off center, but that sticker is off center. So I think it's okay. And then we have those stars on the left side. So I'd like to bring in the stars here as well. And maybe we just do one more thing so that it's not off balance. Um, we can do this. Candy apple. Right here. Okay. I think we are finished. We have Courtney's currently and monthly favorites. We have Erica's October monthly. I think that these both came out really cute and I loved making them. I'll link everything that I used in the description of the video. Hopefully you enjoyed. Thank you for hanging out with me today and I will see you next time.